Alrighty guys, hello everyone watching on YouTube and hello everyone watching on Twitch. We're going to take a look at the new Roman civilization in Age of Empires 2. So I just checked out the Rise of Rome stuff, the AW1 stuff ported over AW2 and that was pretty cool. Don't see myself playing that too, too much though, but for the AW1 fans, it is definitely a great addition. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the Romans here. Uh, first of all, a pretty sick emblem. Second of all, let's take a look at the technology tree and see how this, these guys are going to play out. For those who don't know, the Romans are an only single player and online lobbies you cannot play this in ranked and they will not be played in tournaments most likely so it's an addition to ab2 civs but it's not quite a full-on civilization so for the romans we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the tech tree here and see what's uh what's popping uh put the webcam back in there we go so we have first bonus it's an infantry civilization okay uh first bonus villagers gather build and repair five percent faster Repair 5% fa that's terrible. <laughs> okay, the gather 5% fast is great though, but the repair is like kind of useless. But yeah, the, I guess the villager gatherer is pretty good. Galley line plus one attack, not too bad. War galleys plus one pierce armor, uh, or plus one plus one armor. And then galleons and dromons plus two plus two armor. Infantry received double effect from blacksmith armor upgrades. <gasps> what? What? That's not fair. No way. They, they don't get the last one, right? Oh, I knew it. Okay, okay. Uh, I I knew that one. I knew that one. Um, so that's terrible then. Why would that... That's terrible. You, basically, you just get plus four armor for... Hmm, that, that's not very good. Scorpions cost minus 60% gold and benefit from ballistics research. Oh, that's broken. Wait, that's actually just broken. This is a, a scorpion sieve. Not even infantry sieve. That's a scorpion sieve. Um, yeah, so unique unit centurion, cavalry, and legionary infantry, unique techs, ballistas, scorpions, and galley line fire 33% faster, and comitatensis, militia line, knight line, and centurions train 50% faster and receive a charge attack. Fair enough. Um, so scorpions do fire faster, which is crazy. So you have double buff for the scorpions. Team bonus, scorpion line minimum range reduced. Wow, so triple buff for the scorpions. I'm going full scorpions of this sieve. All right, this is the, this is the you know, the Civ bonuses. Take a look at the tech tree here. So archery range looks pretty mediocre. No thumb ring. You get heavy CA. You get crossbow skirm, but no arbalest. No elephant archer. Fair enough. Uh, you get legionary instead of champions. Okay. I imagine this is good. It has 12 attack, 75 HP, and 2-2 two, two armor. Yeah, this is really good, guys. Okay, it costs a little to upgrade it, but it's pretty sick. You also get the halb. No supplies, no gambesons, though. So, le you know, legionary is going to be quite expensive. And then for your stable, yeah, pretty mediocre stable. A light Cav, Cavalier. You do get Blood Lens, though, so that's not too bad. Your Siege, you get Siege Ram. Heavy Scorp, it's kind of like the MVP. No Cannons, you do get some Onagers, though. No Bracer, so again, we're not really playing with Archers, but you do get fully upgraded Cavalier and Light Cav, which is pretty decent. Your Skirm should be okay. And your uh, your Infantry should be good. You, get, you basically get this one for free, because these ones give double bonus. Your Infantry has plus four, plus four armor. So you get an extra melee armor, and you get the pierce armor effect of this for free. So it is a good bonus, but it's not that great. Your navy seems pretty good. You have the Dromon, which is a new ship. Anti-building siege warship with long range and area of effect. So it's like a cannon galleon. Okay, it's just a cannon galleon. Yeah, they just call it a different thing. Um, I know their tricks. You don't get the demo, by the way, which is cool. You do get siege engineers. No bomber tower. Centurion. Oh, it's so expensive. 75, 85, but it has 120 base HP, 13 attack, 3 pierce armor? What? I know why this is not in rank. This is busted. That's crazy strong, guys. You can have 140 HP, 5 pierce armor units in castleage. The only thing that counters this is monks, nothing else. Nothing else. Weak versus pikemen and camel riders. That's incorrect. It's only the monks can... It's literally a cavalier in castleage. And then the elite version, uh, 155, so plus bloodlines, 175 is pretty good. Has 3-3 three, three armor. Uh, elite version isn't that insane. I mean, it's still really good, but it's uh, comparable to like a paladin, whereas this is just crazy in castleage. Um, they also get the charge. Hold on. They also get a charge attack, though, so they're going to be better than paladin because they get a charge attack. Oh, my God. They train 50% faster. Yeah, this is a scorpion centurion sip, guys, straight up. That's what this is. And then we got some ballistas. 
And then, yeah, monastery tax, you have redemption, block printing, so you have all the good stuff. No sanctity, though, which is interesting. And economy stuff. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, Robin seem absolutely busted. If you guys want to play with them, you can play single player. There's the campaigns, and then there's, you know, uh, lobbies with your friends. So it's pretty cool. Definitely some value for AV2 guys with this DLC. And uh, just try out the Scorpions plus the Tyranid combo. I have never played them. But I'm 100% sure that th those two units are going to be broken with this sieve. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite interesting. I'm going to be testing them out right now. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.